Now, it definitely was a hurtful feeling not being drafted first overall, but let's just say I did not have to wait long at all. Now, the reason why they drafted me, of course, to get after the quarterback. And that felt like I was a generation of type player, and I couldn't agree more. My work ethic, my motor, my relentlessness, getting after the quarterback, that's something that they needed in Atlanta. And I definitely could provide that. So that's why they drafted me third overall. So it definitely was a blessing, man. A long time coming. Let me just tell you that, man. Falcon fans, you better watch out. Now, as I said, the teams that had a chance to draft me, I promise you, I'm going to make you regret it. New York Giants, New York Jets, I promise you, I'm going to make you regret it. If we ever play y'all, you better believe it. I'm going to wreck the hell out of the game. I promise you that. It still seems unreal. And definitely a lot of people I got to think along this journey. My parents, my coaches, high school coaches, teammates, Kirby Smart, everyone. Without y'all, I couldn't have made it this far. But for the most important person, my girl and my son. Yes, he's doing about two or three more weeks, man. And when I say this is a blessing, it's definitely a blessing, man. I couldn't make it without y'all. So one last thing, Atlanta. Y'all better be ready to turn up, man, because I'm bringing a championship to Atlanta. Funeral services today for the University of Georgia football player who was killed in a tragic car crash. Today it happened just hours after the Bulldogs celebrated winning back-to-back -back national championships. So as family, friends, teammates, coaches, and loving community members gathered to say farewell. Most humble, most gentle giants that we've ever had at the University of Georgia. He never tried to be the smartest one in the room, and he probably was. He was incredibly different. I don't know, like, I, I just couldn't believe it. Like, it was so unreal to me. It was just so unreal. You know, it's, it's not a great feeling when you got to bury your own child. You never see him again, talk to him again. It's a feeling that I'll never get over. But one thing he left behind before he left here is D.C. the third, DeAndre Campbell the third. You might not never see your father, but just know that he was a special man. A legend, something that hopefully you'll become one day. Now you see, now since I had my family's name, football wasn't really important to me until my junior season. And you see, after my junior season, I feel like I played well, but colleges across the nation feel like I wasn't good enough. So, in my junior season, I had no offers. But starting my senior season, coach advised me if I want to get the scouts to notice me, I had to play different positions. And that is exactly what I did. I flourished at multiple positions. But one position that I definitely flourished at was definitely safety. I mean, I had the tackling ability, the instincts of an Ed Reed, the playmaker ability of an Ed Reed, the hidden power of a Sean Taylor. You name it, I was a complete package of safety. No doubt about it. Now, another position that came natural to me was running back. I don't know what it was about playing running back, but just leaving the defender in the dust, knowing that nobody can catch me. Let's just say I'm my father's son. I was more of a one cut and go kind of guy. Now don't get me wrong. Now just because I was a one cut and go kind of guy, that doesn't mean I didn't have the power like my father did. I'm not playing quarterback. That's something that you just couldn't teach me. That was just God given. A big attraction to a lot of major schools like the Georgias, Alabamas, Ohio States, Clemsons. You name it, the only way they was going to offer me if I switched position and play on defense. But me, I feel like quarterback was my natural position to play. That's one major question I ask you all. Should I switch to defense and play for a power five school? Or should I stick to my belief and play my natural position quarterback and go to a lower level school? Which one should I do? Like I say, I leave in y'all heads on what position I play at the next level. So y'all let me know. Comment below. Now these are the following schools that offer me to play quarterback 
you got Charlotte, East Carolina, Memphis, UCF, and Wake Forest even kind of floated around a little bit. For the running back, East Carolina, Charlotte, App State, UCF, and Miami was kind of flirting around, but we shall see how that plays out. But like I say, Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, they want to be able to play on defense. I had a couple of offers on the table as well to play on defense. Charlotte, South Alabama, East Carolina, Memphis, Georgia Tech, Alabama. They really want to play on offense, but as I take these official visits to Alabama, it definitely was a sight to see, man. They had numerous, numerous players go to the NFL. I mean, it's hard not to play switch to play on defense. Now, I had a great visit to Alabama, don't get me wrong, but switching in defense, that really wasn't my thing. So I had to pretty much turn Alabama down. Now, my father's alma mater. Georgia Bulldogs coming off back-to-back -back national champs, playing for a coach like Kirby Smart. And what I could add to their defense, he pretty much told me that we were three-peat. But I had to follow my own heart, follow my own footsteps. Now, my official visits of Memphis, man, when I say the entire coaching staff, even the players kept it real with me, that's what, exactly what they did, man. They kept it on front street, kept it 100. Even some of the upperclassmen, hell, even some of the recruits, man, they felt like I was a special talent and that I could be the one that helped turn this football pro program around. And one thing that I definitely love about Memphis and the entire coaching staff, they didn't pressure me to play defense, man. They told me whatever position I wanted to play, of course, that was quarterback. Then that's where they recruit me as. So they definitely was high on my list. Definitely appreciate the Memphis coaching staff on that visit. Now, before you get ahead of yourself and say the Charlotte 49ers, yes, Charlotte 49ers, man. They was up there with Memphis as far as keeping it real. And one thing that set them above anybody else, they strictly recruited me to play quarterback. And that's why they're number one on my list. Now, my college career rests in you all's hands. Now, should I switch to defense to get more offers from Power 5 schools? Or should I follow my heart and just go to a non-Power 5 school and play quarterback? Y'all comment below on where I should go. My college career rests in you all's hands. But it's your boy CR8 logging on to the next video, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all the life. Hey, comment below. Vote below in the community tab. As, I'm, as I've been in drop this, it will be a voting tab up, man. Y'all go vote below. Vote below. Vote. Comment. Subscribe, man. It's your boy CR8. And I'm gone.